Hey gang, AV here. Got another package in from CGC, and I've been looking forward to this one. Uh, this is, uh, I think it was like 16 books with custom labels, I think. And uh, but but that's not what I'm excited about. That what I'm excited about is, as you know, I don't pretend to uh, to uh, be surprised with the uh, the grades when they come in. I, I like to check them out beforehand uh, just because I enjoy having an idea of what to expect when the packages arrive and all that. And, uh, oh, there we go. And uh, I have to say, I don't know if people at CGC actually watch my videos or not. Um, I know that I, when I did have that one issue, which is, I'm still waiting to be revolved, uh, resolved, by the way, but when I had that one issue with my books not being pressed, I, uh, I was in contact with somebody at CGC, and I did actually share my video page with her um, to show that the books, the shape of the books when they arrived. But anyway, if anybody is watching my channel and taking notes, um, kudos to you. Uh, it, it's greatly appreciated. And the reason why I say that is because in my last video, I had mentioned how inaccurate I felt the grades were and how the uh the graders notes that I did get did not say they break color they did they, they didn't say give me specifics about where that where it was on the book whoever graded this order did all of that like <laughs> it's almost like they're trying to make me say crow or something but uh eat crow or something because I'm going back on my words this particular order is exactly what I wanted from CGC graders. Uh, I got accurate grades, in my opinion, on my books. And no, that does not mean I got all high grades. Some of them were, are in the eights. Spoiler alert. But I feel that they're accurately graded, as opposed to the last video I posted. And the graders' notes I got um, make sense. So I'll show you some examples of that. Without further ado, let's get some books out of here. All right. So, let's start. Oh, facing the wrong way. We'll stay here. My dog is a little unsettled. <laughs> He's, uh... Hi, puppy. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. There he is. <laughs> Hi. All right, so first up we have... Marvel Age number 90, Todd McFarlane cover, and I got this, the, uh, the, uh, custom Spider-Man logo on there. Very cool cover, nice artwork, new stand edition, no less, very cool, and this one we got a 9.8 on, that's awesome, wow, I forgot it was a new stand too, that, that's fantastic. Actually, you know what? That's weird. They don't denote the newsstand on this label, I don't think. They did it in the previous order, but not this one. So, that's a little weird. But anyway, damn, that's awesome. I forgot this was a 9.8. But th that's a beauty. That's a, that's a keeper, too, by the way. Wow. You don't come across that often. Alright, so next, we've got... We got some cardboard. There we go. Next up, we've got the Mighty Thor, number 365. And this is just Walt Simonson cover and art. Um, I believe this was the first appearance of Frog Thor. Or Throg. Um, could be wrong. Maybe it was the SU before. I forget. But anyway... That's why I sent it in. It got the uh, the Thor label up there. And we got a 9.8 on that as well. Awesome. That is awesome. Oh, okay. I see it. Uh, there's like an outline here. But that's from the artwork on the opposite side of the cover. All right. That's a beauty. Especially with the all black back. A 9.8 on this is, is fantastic. 
Super stoked about that. All right, next. We have, okay, 364. That was 365. So 364 is the cover that everybody loves where he turns into the frog. All right, and this is a new stand edition as well. Custom label with, with uh, Jack Kirby Thor up there at the top. And on this one, we got a 9.8 as well. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm not that surprised. I know I was getting 9.8s, but I, uh, I'm stoked. Uh, I forgot that I was getting them on newsstands because this particular order didn't denote the newsstands, I don't believe. I don't see them on the labels. So maybe they don't do it for the custom labels. Maybe. I don't know. Invoice for the tax man. All right, next up we have a second copy of that. Yes. All right, so this is the direct edition version of that book. And this one we got the 9.6 on. Okay, very cool. I'll definitely take that. Definitely take that. Very, very cool. Next up we got... Okay, I, I did a f quite a few of these. These are Marvel Tales with McFarlane covers. Marvel Tales reprinted all the uh, amazing Spider-Man stories. Um, but McFarlane redid the covers on them. So this is a newsstand copy of uh, uh, 238 with the amazing Spider-Man on there. A 9.6 on that. Very nice. With the juggernaut. All right, so we got Marvel Tales number 237, another McFarlane cover. Very cool. Uh, custom label again, 9.8 on that. Awesome. 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 And even though I have a little bit of a miswrap here, because you can see the back cover on the front along the spine so and a little bit of an overhang too if you look still get a nine eight i always thought they i always thought they should take off for the the miswrap because it's not perfectly aligned in the same regard that a uh, baseball cards do it but uh no cgc does not penalize you for that and i'm happy about it today <laughs> Oh, anyway, uh, here's another one. What do we got here? We have, okay, Marvel Tales. There's going to be a lot of these in here with McFarlane covers. Marvel Tales number 236. Spidey and the X-Men, McFarlane style. Another newsstand. That's that's huge. And we got a 9-2 on that one. And I believe the 9-2s actually did offer... Uh, some good graders notes. What happened in there? It looks like the uh, the inner well is a little off kilter to the book. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about with the graders notes. I think it might be on this book or another one of the nine twos in here. So we do that. All right. Yep. See? Small crease, bottom right of front cover, and it breaks color. That's the exact type of, of greater note I want. So it's bottom right of front cover. Okay, I see it. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you for being 
for not only giving me graders notes, but for being descriptive about it. That's, I mean, I guarantee you it didn't take you very, them very long to do that. So why, why be cryptic about it? Be upfront and honest. We're paying you to, to look at the books, ascertain a grade, and, 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 and identify flaws. So why be cryptic about it, you know? I mean, we're, that's what we were being paid for. Oh, okay. All right. So here's another one. Uh, Marvel Tales number 235. That was 236. So this is issue before that. Spidey and the X-Men again. And this one we got a 9-8 on. That's huge. That's huge. Wow. Wow. I am stoked with, with these grades, frankly. I just wanted the McFarlane covered slabbed for my own collection. Uh, these grades are blowing me away. I'm so thrilled with these. Uh, all right, so Marvel Tales, uh, 234. Again, another Spidey and X-Men cover, only they're in the shadows this time. New stand again. This one we got a 9-2 on again. And this one, I can definitely see some spine creases that break color. I mean, you can clearly see them there in the video. At least two right there. They just stick right out. So, I mean, and, you know, the corner is not as sharp as it should be. So, yeah, totally justifiable 9.2. Totally. Absolutely. Here's another spine crease right there. And that doesn't e that's not even one of the two that I pointed out. That's a new one too. So Definitely. All right. Very fair grader on these. Very happy. All right. So Marvel Tales number 232. This is with a McFarlane Dazzler on the cover. Check that out. Huh? And this one we got a 9.2 on again. All right. And again, I can definitely see some uh some spine ticks here on the on the spine. Makes perfect sense. I'm not disputing that grade at all. Very fair, very fair grader that I got this time. As opposed to the last video. That guy was I'm not going to say it. All right, so Marvel Tales 231. This is another newsstand with the, uh, the Paladin on there. And this one we got a 9.4 on, okay. Eh, it's still got the weird thing with the inner well here, though. I'm going to have to look at that a little closer later. But, I mean, with, with the track record for this particular grader, I am not disputing it at all. I uh, There's actually, like, a little bit of a chip taken out, like, right up there. You can see. And I can see a couple spine ticks here on the back because of the... Even though they're not as obvious on the front. There's one. Okay. Totally acceptable. All right, next we've got Marvel Tales 227. McFarlane with the Iceman. Barcode 8.5. All right. And there are definite obvious spine ticks on here. So I know that's something. Let's see what the uh, creator's notes have to say on this. All right, 227. Crease bottom of back cover breaks color. Spine stress lines breaks color. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
the crease on the bottom bottom of the back cover and uh, some spine ticks so that explains that all right only four more books left four more books left Marvel Tales, number 226, McFarlane cover again. And this time we got A94, very cool. It's a great Spidey webbing cover there. That's awesome. They look good with the custom labels. It'd be, it would have been nice if it was a McFarlane Spider-Man up there on the custom label, but can't win them all, I suppose, huh? All right, so... Oh, okay, I got a double of that one, and this one's the newsstand. I've had a lot of luck with the newsstand issues in this. So let's see what the grade is on this one. 8.5, all right, well, luck didn't pan out that time, <laughs> but that's all right. All right, and there are some obvious spine ticks on there and, and whatnot, so it makes sense to me. Two more books. Two more books. All right, this one is Marvel Tales Classic Spider-Man number 224. This is actually a very cool Doc Ock cover. Very cool Doc Ock cover. Nice white on there, too. And we got 9.6 on that one. Beautiful. That's great. These might be good up on the wall somewhere. I mean, just for the covers alone. I mean, they're, they're pretty awesome. All right, last book. Marvel Tales Classic Sp Spider-Man number 223. This is a newsstand again. And we got the 9-2 on that one. Very cool. I'm very happy with this order. Like I said, I don't need 9-8s constantly, especially when the, the grade is justifiable for the damage on the book. I was really upset with the last video because the damage wasn't there to justify the grades that I was getting, and I was getting very annoyed. Um, these, no argument at all. I mean, these are these are bar none the grades that they came back as. No arguments at all. Uh, and the grader's notes are fantastic. I mean, when you are that descriptive and you tell me where to look, and the fact that it, it does break the color, which does break up the image on the cover. You're not just uh, dinging me just because there's an indent there, you know. It's actually physical damage. Good job. Good job. Uh, whoever graded this order is... is Aces in my book. Uh, whoever created my last order that I reviewed on here is not aces. But anyway, uh, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel where you'll see a whole bunch of other comic book and occasionally toy content. I do promise I have plenty of stuff to review. I just haven't had the time. I'm going to get to it. Um, I did a, uh, the convention, so check out that video. I just do a little quick walkthrough. It's only like five minutes long won't take you too long to get through that um but they are doing another one in the winter so look for me there again and uh uh like share comment subscribe all that stuff greatly appreciated and as always take care